Hey, what's up guys? It's Jamie here. Thanks for joining me in today's video. Hope you're having an awesome day. And if this is the first time on the channel, I'd like to say a very warm welcome to you. My name's Jamie. I'm a full-time affiliate marketer, digital ad strategist. I'm a coach for a program with over 560 students. If you're interested in learning more about what we're up to, click the link below this video to get all the details. Anyway, uh, moving on, here's what we're talking about today. Basically, there's something that uh, I've sort of known about for some time, but it was more uh, accurately articulated in the book that I read last year. And I keep it right beside my desk because I absolutely love it. And it's something that I think is an amazing book. If you're interested in checking this out, I highly recommend it. Uh, the, I was going to say, the, I was trying to read the Robert Cialdini thing backwards on my camera. That's ridiculous. What am I doing? Influence the psychology of persuasion. There you go. That's a bit more accurate. Um, anyway, uh, the reason why I bring that up, one of the things that they talk about in there is something called the law of reciprocity. And I'm going to tell you guys a little bit of a story. And at the end of it, I'm going to tell you why this is relevant to marketing. So stick around. So anyway, first and foremost, what is the law of reciprocity? It's the subconscious bias all humans have to want to return the favor if we are given anything of a perceived value. And the reference that Robert makes in the book is uh, in relation to the late 1970s back in airports where the uh, Hare Krishnas would go to these airports and they would give people a flower, which was a very kind gesture as you can imagine. And then they give them the flower and people think, oh, that's really nice, how sweet. And so as they would take the flower, then they would say, can you offer a donation? We're accepting donations today. And so people, because they had received something of a perceived value, they felt awkward and then they're like, oh crap, okay, here you go, here's some money. And so they would give the money and they would make quite a considerable amount of money. And that was their thing. They would go through these different airports, especially I think it was referencing JFK Airport, if I'm not mistaken. And so therefore they would go and make quite a lot of money. And a lot of the time people didn't actually have a, a perceived value with the flower itself. They thought, well, this is actually kind of useless. I was just given something, and you know, when you're, you're busy, maybe you're jet lagged or you, you've got other things on your mind, just kind of grab something without even thinking about it. Uh, and it didn't really have a necessary value on it because a lot of people would throw them in the trash. And what they would do is go back into the trash and get the flowers out and re-give them away again. Um, so they're obviously making quite a lot of money out of this. Now, second part of that story is uh, Robert, at, at, towards the end of the book, actually says, you know, you're never going to be able to overcome all the word he uses for con artists. I can't think of it off the top of my head. Um, persuasion tactics artists, whatever it was. Anyway, um, but he also references that. And he said, but now you're going to have an awareness of that in, in your daily life. And so lo and behold, recently I was out walking around in, in my neighborhood because we're allowed out at the moment, which is kind of nice. And basically I went to uh, go across the road to the park where I was going to go for my walk and, and the sun, all that sort of stuff. And someone offered me a book and he had a whole big bag full of books, like a trolley. And he's walking around and he seemed innocent enough, but he went to give me this book and I realized, hang on, something's happening here and I re realized that I'd read this in the book recently and it's something that I, I do in my own marketing which I'm going to circle back to in a moment anyway it's something that I teach my students but anyway uh guy goes to give me a book and my instant reaction as I was putting out my hand I'm like, oh how nice because that's what, what a lovely gesture and then I'm like oh, no I'm on to you sir I know what you're doing I know what this is about um, so I declined the book and I said, no, thank you. I'm, I'm fine for, for books right now. Thank you very much. Because I realized that he was actually just after a donation. Of course, it would have had this awkward thing where I would have taken the thing and then I would have had to muck around in my pocket trying to find cash, even though I know that I don't have any cash. But here's the other thing is that I've seen them do this before and they actually have little FPOS machines. So even though oh, sorry, I don't have any cash on me, no, nah, not getting away that easy. Oh, I've got FPOS. There you go. Give me 20 bucks. Um, anyway, so I didn't fall for it, right? So little story for you guys, but how does that tie into marketing and why is that relevant to absolutely anything whatsoever? Well, for starters, I like stories and hopefully you guys don't mind them either. Secondly, here's the thing. When you are in a marketing environment, you need to be giving first. You can't just go to your audience and say, hey, give me some money. I got this thing, it's awesome. Uh, give me some cash for it. You need to be giving first. You need to be applying the law of reciprocity in your own marketing attempts. And the way that you do that is the goodwill and the value that you provide 
to your audience in whatever capacity you can do that just do it just give as much as you can and give it freely and expect nothing in return and what you'll find is that because you're out there you're giving and you're offering value and you're you're uh, helping people out and you're getting helping them to get their own results results in advance RIA pretty cool then what happens is people will want to t return that uh, favor for you they'll want to reciprocate and so of course when you say hey listen seems though like you got so much great value out of the free stuff that I've been able to offer how about you check out the link below this video or just go to jgcall.com, check out the free case study. If you'd like to lock in in time to speak with myself, if you're serious about taking your business to the next level this year and beyond, there's a, uh, a link in there to do so. So there you go. Who knows? Maybe it works. Maybe not. Maybe no one got value from this little story. Um, anyway, start using it in your own uh, business, in your own marketing. And all you need to do to do that is, like I say, think of ways to give value and, and look at your own journey specifically. Look at where you've come from, what you've learned to get to where you are now. No matter where that is, doesn't matter you know, if you've been doing it for years or just a little while. And look at how you can expedite your own journey, how you could have expedited your own, own journey in hindsight. And if you're able to do that and you're able to help push someone forward, even just a couple of mindset tips, even something like this, maybe it's gonna help someone. Maybe someone's going, oh yeah, I get that. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I'm gonna do that now. Law of reciprocity, I like it. Yeah, good book too, by the way. Anyway, on that note, uh, hopefully you guys got some value out of that. Uh, like I say, smash that link if you're interested. Um, smash the subscribe button if you'd like to learn more about affiliate marketing, high ticket marketing conversion stuff, and uh, other good stuff with coherent sentences normally. Um, anyway, my name's Jamie. I appreciate you guys tuning in, and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.